Lee Schwartz. Exactly. All right. So yes. Oh, thank you. All right. So wait. So you went, wait. You said you came to the well, United I, I, from, from, from the from the Bronx. From the Bronx, you know, coming to Manhattan to play. Yeah. As a, you know, it is overseas. I yeah. Mean, like well, you know, like Bridge and Tunnel crowd. I guess I don't know. No, it isn't. It isn't. The Bronx is different because I look at it as an upper Manhattan. You do cross the bridge to get there, you know, though. Yeah. So. Separate country. Separate country. Well, they all are. <laughs> I lived in Brooklyn for a while, Queens too, but uh, never lived in the Bronx. But had lots of friends that did, and it is another country almost sometimes. They all are. I mean, Queens is not another country. Yeah, Queens is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Staten Island. Yeah, never got out there, but no. You've one. never been to Staten Island. Oh no, no, I've been out there, but I never. Oh, okay, that's fair. I did live on 14th Street for a while. That was cool. But, uh, no, Staten Island. No, I never did. Yeah, I guess you have to have a reason to live in Staten Island. No yeah, offense, but it's true. But there's a lot of people that grew up in Staten Island, and then they cross. I'm not going to say the name of what they cross, but they cross the to Jersey. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say that. But uh, yes, that's what they do. Yeah. And Brooklyn is. Uh, well, it, it seems like Bronx goes to Westchester, yeah. Queens and yes. Brooklyn go to Long Island, Island, and Staten Island goes so, to Jersey. And people yeah. from Boston always yeah. sinks it. Emigrate to New York. There's a great theater in Staten Island. You cross the ferry and then there's a theater right there. That's where like Punk movie, Island like was. a movie this year. theater that turned into a rock venue. Interesting. Oh. I played there with Derringer back in like 1981 or two. Wow. And it was a terrific place to play, yeah. I actually saw you a couple times with Derringer. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Great shows. Thanks. Nice. Cool. Yeah. I'm in touch with all the guys oh, except yeah. Rick, yeah. Wow. Donnie Kissel. Donnie, yes. He's up in our show now. He plays with the Turtles. Rick Derringer is uh, he's one of my favorite guitar players. I, when I was up in Boston, we played with B.B. Buell. She was mm -hmm. her backup band. And we got to play Palladium. And Rick Derringer came out and played a song with us, which was great because he was producing her stuff. He loves he's to sing. He's a wonderful, him. wonderful guitar Except the, he, the interesting thing about Rick is that he never actually gets very close to anybody. I think that comes from being a star from the time he was 15. Yeah. Is that he keeps his distance from everyone, I think including his wives. Wow. You know, wives? Yeah, he's got three wives. Yeah. There you go. So, so, so it's, I always think when, does he ever go on tour now? Oh, yeah, he's coming. Because I always call that the alimony tour. Like, <laughs> you know, like when these people have to keep going on tour, like money. the Rolling Stones. How much alimony do they have? I don't know. Like, Mick Jagger's got enough money. Exactly. He can pay everybody. Yeah, all right. He can put everyone on Earth on a wage. Wow. And not be hurting. <laughs> well, that's cool. So, guys, um, you're playing every Sunday at Auto Shrunken Head yes. via uh, Frankie Wood. Yes. Yeah. Frankie Wood. Yeah, yeah. yeah Frankie. We love Frankie. Pick Everybody up, pick up, up your Marty. voice. I know. I, I'm restraining myself. Oh, I can do it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I love Frank Wood. I mean, you can't not love him, you know? Yeah, what we have for you, though, is the yeah, we got like a, a CD that we actually did in Frank's living room, produced by Alan. Yes. Nice. yes. Alan's my cousin, yes. the other Alan. Alan Rand. Yeah. yeah. Hip hip. Talk about home recordings. Uh, ah, yeah. this was definitely a promo recording. You know, yeah, some people knock home recordings, but you know what? I think that's understated these yeah, days. So you know, what we're talking about here with what we do is we just do raw, rough rock and roll, three chords. Anything more than three chords is basically jazz to us. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, but you good. don't play like that because I've seen you play and well, you do not play like three, three chords. chords win. You make. I play three chords and they look like three chords. You play three chords and they look like 15 chords. <laughs> Thanks, for that. I appreciate true. that. But we, you know, the, the three of us have been playing this kind of music for a long time. And it's kind of nice just playing rough yeah. and rugged sex. Uh, oops, I'm not even rough. <laughs> <laughs> rough and rugged <laughs> sex. Did I say that? You did Rock it. and roll. Thanks, man. Oh. <laughs> so wait, when you play, do you get like, do you wear this jacket and stuff? Like, yeah. You sweat a lot. Yeah. You don't I can't believe I said that. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's so good. Or I won't think you said that. It is National Pecan Tort Day, oh, yeah. and uh, we would love to share a little pecan pecan tort with you. And when you share a skeleton <laughs> from your closet, okay. No, I, I need you to tell me a, a sexy skeleton from your closet, Mister. Sexy skeleton from my closet. Yeah. Just, Doesn't that count? Thank no, you. because you didn't get to the point. That was just a, a, a Freudian slip. It was definitely a Freudian slip, and no, I don't have any skeletons in my closet. Yeah. Well, what about when you were five? Oh. Okay. Um, 
when my sister, you know what I did? I actually, I had bloody noses when I was a little kid. You skip bloody noses all the time. And my sister was at the bottom of the stairs, and I knew she was there. So basically what I did was I took all the blood and smeared it all on my face, oh. so I looked really bad, oh. and rolled myself down the stairs and freaked out my sister. <laughs> that worked. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Did she ever know you that you did that? Yes, she did. <laughs> did she kick your ass? She's been paying me back ever since. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mr. Pips. A skeleton. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I pretty much a, I'm an open book. I, I don't know. I don't hide anything. Well, like, that's okay. I, I, Do you have any like good juicy sure. stories from like you know? Um, did you ever climb out of a window or something? <laughs> I've been thrown out of a couple windows. All right. Well, let's tell us what window you were thrown out of. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. The, the very first window. Let's go. Okay. Let's, let's go back to like uh, grammar school. I think I was in the first grade, and it was about a, a story and a half off the ground, and I was looking out the window. And, and the teacher just said, you know, like, it was a Catholic school, and it was very strict nuns. And she said something stupid, like, how'd you like to go out that window? And I was like, is that, is that supposed to scare me? And I opened the window and jumped out. <laughs> 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 out the window. You, didn't, you didn't break anything, did you? No, 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 no. no. First floor. I guess my bones were still soft, yeah. you know, eight or nine years old. That could have been tragic. But yeah. Here you go. Okay. So what happened? Did you get in trouble? Oh yeah, you know, your mom has to come get you. Did you have to say like Hail Mary's This was in the, in, in the 60s, so they made federal cases. Did they hit you? Uh, I don't remember that. No, I, you blacked that out. Yeah, maybe. Nuns, nuns get everybody. They, they, that was, they had uh, privy over yeah, They were allowed, know. right? Yeah. Until they weren't really allowed anymore, right? <laughs> I know. It's hard to be a nun today. You can't hit anybody, right? <laughs> I just get none out of it. I like that. Well, Next yeah. song title. I like it. Oh, like it. All right, just, just quote me. That's fine. So, um, what's your website? Uh, well, actually, we're just on Facebook right now. That's fine. Um, that's, that's where everybody. Nation thing. Yeah, we got stuff up there. But um, you can hear a lot of that CD on there too. And uh, come on down. There are a lot of those. Rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. We carry. I like to say we carry the torch. You know, I'm a traditionalist. I, I don't, not that I don't like or accept new things, but I, I think there are some things in life that have to remain a constant. And rock and roll is one of them. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you even look at the guys that do like uh, the old shows, you know, they're, they're still going strong. Oh, they yeah. still have their crowd of people. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I like to look at this band in, in, the, in the light of we're holding the torch. We've given you that little old And you do put on a good show. So, how many people are in the band? Name them all. Three. There's Frankie. It's Kevin Shaw and it's me. That's, That's it. it. Trio. Yeah, trio. Power yeah. trio. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, and sometimes if you do come down on those Sundays too, we will be bringing up little guests here and there too. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Cool. But that's, uh, that's that's all it. we know. I mean, it's uh, it's it's kind of funny because it's such a simple thing to do. That's it amazing. Really. I'm not seeing too many other people doing it. I'm oh. sorry, but uh, you know. When you and I love all music too. When you put it on paper, it doesn't look. That glamorous, you know. It's, it's a lot of people say, "Oh yeah, that's easy. easy. You can do uh, yeah. that, right?" That's because you make uh, it look easy. Well, it's really not. <laughs> but we know. We, that's all we know. One thing about this band, we don't think. We don't have to think. That's we the best thing. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot, a lot of, a lot of bands you go with. Uh, yes, yeah. exactly. You have to think about what your next rhythm is going to be, and that just just seems to come to mind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how you play, though. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I kind of get it's that. Hit or miss. <laughs> it is. It is. Depending on the day. But isn't that with everything? <laughs> that's the way rock and roll should be. Yeah. Rock, the best rock and roll is the work of inspired amateurs. I think that that if you get too slick, it's not rock and roll anymore. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. Caroline. Yeah. Hello. Here's Diana Ross. Well, and neither does the party. Yeah, exactly. So, hip hips, any last shout outs? Anything else you want to say to this whole wide internet? Uh, I'm going to say, well, hey, Kevin, wherever you are, yeah, we'll yeah. see you later on. And we're going to be here every Sunday night, every starting Sunday this night. Sunday night, too. So please and come here on. means Otto's yeah, Drunken. Yeah. 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 14th Street and Avenue B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Frankie Wood production. Yes, it is. Frankie Wood production. Thank you. What is it? It's so fucking cool. You don't know what's going to happen. Right? Another week in hell. Yeah. We love you, Frank Wood. All right. We'll be back. Thank you, Hip Hip. Thank you.